This is Norway spruce. It's in the family Pinaceae, in the genus Picea, and the specific epithet is Abies. So Picea Abies, Norway spruce. It might be a little confusing that its specific epithet is Abies, as Abies is also a genus for firs. So try and keep that straight. This is Picea Abies. Let's take a closer look at its characteristics. Here you have platy bark, but it's instead of being large plates that you see in some of the pines, this is more of scaly, a little bit smaller, um, even though the tree itself can be quite large, typically gray with a little bit of some reds and browns in it. If you look at a twig straight on, you can see that the needles are singly attached and come out from all sides and make almost a bottle brush like appearance to the edge of the twig. The buds on the very end for Norway spruce are a little rounded, pointed, and slightly red, and the twig itself, if you can see on the inside, has a reddish color. Just looking at the branches, you can see how they droop down. A branch comes out, and then little branchlets actually droop down. A branch, and then some drooping. Looking closely, you can see that the needles are singly attached to the twig. If you look very closely, you can see that there's a, a little woody peg-like structure that is adhering the needle to the twig. Notice that the needles are sort of pointing out toward the tip of the branch. And while these needles are a little sharp, uh, they're not as sharp as blue spruce. You can also take a spruce needle in your fingers and roll it back and forth because it has a slight angle to it. Here's the cone of Norway spruce. It has Instead of woody cones, it has more of a reflexive, papery cone. This is a fairly large spruce cone, and the scales come to a little bit of a point or have a tiny bit of fringe along the edge to them. When this is still on the tree and all these are closed up, it makes a much uh, narrower form. Here you can see the cones hanging down from the branch instead of pointing straight up off the branch, which is different than the firs. Here you can see two other Norway spruce right next to each other, fairly large tall trees with a nice X-current shape, and as the branches come out you can see little branchlets that droop down.